Cube IDE is now opened. And you can see there, um, got my homework, and I've got my GPDMA. But I call this one GPA DMA number one. And I've now got all my files, and I'm ready to start editing code. So the first item I need to do in the code, hopefully you've all got this far. If anyone's falling behind, please let us know in the chat. Um, the first item we need to do is we need to include the link list in our file. So my cheat sheet. So I will include the link list to my file. So that goes in my user code includes. Next, I need to create my buffer that I configured in the Cubamex. So my buffer is called data. So that needs to go into um, private variables. Yeah. Buffer into the private variables. Now, as a default, the device applies standard power saving uh, parameters. So therefore, VDDA is disabled by default. So we need to enable um, our VDDA because we're using the A to D converter. So we have these two lines to enable the clock and then enable the VDDA. They need to go into our system init section. Line number 92. So we need to now add items related to our linked list now. So our queue name is defined in our linked list. So it needs to be declared as an extern for our um, main.c file. So we need to add that to our private variables. And our data array that we've declared in our main.c needs to be visible to our linked list. So we need to declare that in our linked list uh, as an extern as well. Then finally, we need to configure our queue name. To initialize our queue name, so that goes in user code begin number two of main.c. So, so what we've just done when we configure the queue name is we're going to load our data structure into the registers. So, so when we call the command DMA list build node, um, oops, sorry, button, it's that next one down there. Uh, what we do is take all our parameters from our data structure 
and we load it into all the registers that make up the DMA node itself. And then when we do the insert node tail, um, we will move from the linked list area into our linked list queue. So then our linked list will jump to the next node, which is the same address, in this particular case. So we're just going to go around one area in here. So our linked list will end up going like that. So we're in circular mode. So we'll have our original list. We'll have our next list and then that'll go back to our original list. In our case, all of these are the same at the moment. So now we're going to link the queue to the specific uh, DMA channel. So we're going to add this into our code. in user code begin number two. And then we can start our ADC off. So we're going to start our linked list and then start our ADC. So that's also going into user code begin number two. Like that. So once you've completed all that, you should now be able to compile the code and run a debug session. So I've just connected my board to my laptop. I will highlight the project in case you've got multiple projects open in an Eclipse environment. Make sure you're highlighting the correct project that you want to build. And now you can build your project. OK, we've got zero errors and one warning, which is for a yeah, casting assignment. OK, that's not too bad. And now I can enter debug. OK, so because I've not actually launched anything. So I will need to debug and launch a new debug application. There we go. I'll start my debug. I shall switch to debug mode. And now we want to view live expressions. So, so window, show view, and I'm looking for live expressions. There we go. She's appeared here. That one. That one, that's from my previous example. And now we want to add a new expression to our live expressions. And we want to look for our data array. So it's a 64 bit array, which is correct. And if I expand that, it should be all zeros because I've not run any code yet. Now, if I run or resume, you'll see now that I'm getting data parameters coming in. So what we've created at the moment is 
we've declared our DMA channel one. We've set up all the registers. And we've linked it to our linked list, which is got a default configuration as it starts. It hits the linked register at the very bottom. It loads in the next um, item in the linked list, which is the same item. And then once that linked list is finished, it then loops back round to our very start. So that's it. So we've created one node in our linked list queue now. 